Hey there guys, it's Liz here and tonight I'm bringing you a quick chip tip so that you guys are able to look at the ingredients label of the chips that you get for you and your family and you're able to say, hey, this is a decent version of chips or this is definitely the type of chip that's going to cause more inflammation, more intestinal permeability, leaky gut, things that lead to brain fog and dis-ease in the body, make it more difficult to be able to lose weight when we have more inflammation, right? So I'm gonna give you guys three examples, two really good examples and the chips that I like, and one not so great example, my husband will still consume it sometimes, but we're working on it, we're working in the right direction right so do me a favor guys and if you love that you know crunchy salty savory snack if you love your chips put your favorite brand and you know flavor in the comments and don't worry about putting like the healthy version if you like your Lay's sour cream and onion put it in the comments I want to see it all right so I'm going to show you the not so good version first and then I'm going to show you the two good alternatives ones that I literally just got a stock of today all right so here is the type that my husband likes, all right? Kettle brand chips. Can they be better than some of the other brands? Yes, in some instances, and it can depend on the flavor, okay? But kettle brand chips are what he likes, all right? So this is the backyard barbecue. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredient label and point out why I don't consume these and why I don't recommend them as the primary chip source, okay? So here we go, potatoes. Potatoes, sunflower oil, safflower oil and or canola oil, all right? So big thing here, potatoes, they're not organic. Um, I mean, is it the end of the world if they're not? No, but the fact that potatoes are on like the dirty dozen list of the top 12 foods that are most likely to have like the highest amount of, of pesticides and whatnot on them if they're not organic, potatoes are on there. So that's the first thing I would say. But the main thing I wanna point out to you guys is that you have your vegetable oils here. So you have your sunflower, safflower, and or canola oil. And a lot of my clients say, well, how, isn't it like one or the other? And like, why is it and or? Guys, it's whatever's cheapest at the time and whatever they have the most available of. But all of these are inflammatory vegetable oils that are high in omega-6s. And do we need a little bit of omega-6s in our body? Yes, but you get so much from so many other things. That's why so many people take the fish oil supplements with omega-3s, because we're trying to balance that out. We want a good ratio. And so chips, are a big thing that has these inflammatory vegetable oils in them, and it's really easy to, to rack them up, okay? Not only is it in chips, guys, it's in so many foods. Look on the ingredient labels of any of your foods that you're having. And if you're going out to eat at a restaurant or you guys are ordering out, you're getting Uber Eats or Grubhub right now, trying to support restaurants, that's awesome. Just know that majority of restaurants are gonna be cooking with these vegetable oils, like canola oil, which is, you know, 90% of the supply of that is, is GMO. And that was several years ago that they came up with that stat. So imagine what it is now, right? So you have genetically modified high inflammatory oils and you can find chips that don't use these oils. It's harder, but you can. Okay. Um, some of the other things, just a little side note here, reasons why I definitely wouldn't like these is because, um, you know, not only does it have added sugar in it. Okay. It's not horrible, but it is added sugar. And then you have different yeasts in here if you look on the label, okay? So if you're somebody that's dealing with more bloating within your gut, you could have candida overgrowth, you could have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and when you're having stuff with yeast in it or garlic powder or onion powder, that's going to be fermentable food and it can feed that and make your gut issues worse. So that's a little fun fact right there, okay? So these are the like, eh, I would prefer somebody go without them, okay? The two ones that I use, and I'll show you each label, here we go. Coconut oil, sweet potato, and sea salt in this one. Plantain chips, this brand has the uh, coconut oil, the plantains, and the sea salt. Literally three ingredients each, that's it. And so these I've talked about on my other lives before. Absolutely love them. You can get them at most grocery stores. Um, these are like my new favorite. I had just tried these a couple weeks ago. And uh, they're made by Thrive Market. So before people ask me, hey, where can I get them? you have to order from Thrive Market. It's like an online grocer, okay? So they just delivered six bags of them right to my door today because I was like, I am stocking up. Um, but they are literally the only type of sweet potato chip that I have found that's been baked with coconut oil. All the other ones that I found before, um, like the Terra brand chips, 
They are like the black bag. If you guys see them at the grocery stores, they're very, very common. Vegetable oil. Like it's going to have canola, sunflower, safflower oil. And then the sweet potatoes aren't even organic. These aren't either, but like at least I can get a less inflammatory oil, right? So sometimes, guys, this is about picking the lesser of two evils in some instances. Sometimes we just wanna make the healthier decision overall and have whole food sources. We're trying not to get, you know, processed foods, right? But at the same time, if you're going and going to have the snack, I want you guys to know the better version of it. And so if you're able to look on the label and see that it has coconut oil in it, that's going to be a much better version of the chip than if you have sunflower, canola, safflower, soybean, all these other really crappy oils. It can make a big difference in you and your family's lives. And so that's a great, easy way to reduce the inflammation by making that easy swap. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this tip.